For this numeracy assessment case study, giving out bonuses, let's answer question number one. What questions do you need to ask in order to make a decision about who gets the bonuses? Select all that apply. There may be more than one correct answer. Now here's the poster. Attention sales team members. We want to give an award to the sales teams who sold the most phones. Who cares about what kind of phone? Who cares about anything else besides the number of phones? The number of any phone. That's the only thing that matters. And what are the prizes? Top selling person gets $500 cash. Very exciting. This is an individual bonus for the top salesperson, singular. There's also a team bonus. The top selling sales team gets 500. To be shared in a fair manner, hmm. So if there's lots of people on the team, I can see that this prize is not so exciting. Anyways, we wanna sell lots of phones to win. So again, let's make a decision about who gets the bonuses. How much do the phones cost? Again, we mentioned this before. The cost of the phones is irrelevant for this award. We're only interested in the number of phones. How many hours did each salesperson work per week? This is irrelevant. I don't care if you're not even sleeping, if you're working 100 hours a week or more, it's all about the number of phones. So this is irrelevant. Can a salesperson get both the individual and the team bonus? Can you really win both awards? Now this is a good question because we need to make a decision about who gets the bonuses. This is relevant. Can you imagine winning the $500 individual bonus plus getting more money? That's a good question. Is that even fair? Did each salesperson accurately report the number of phones sold? So this question is important in making a good decision about who should win the award. Look at this handwriting. This handwriting is not so good and everyone's recording this information in a slightly different manner. Can you imagine if someone actually accidentally added an extra digit there? It would be unfair. So this is definitely a fair question. What is the average length of employment of each salesperson at this company? This is irrelevant. We're not about seniority. We're not about how long you've been at this company. It's simply the number of phones that you sell that matters.